In order to measure static friction, basically we have our block not moving and we are very slowly going to pull on our spring scale, all the while watching how much force is being applied. And so we continue to pull very slowly with more and more force until we get the block to start moving. That is known as our static friction. Now we might add more mass to our system. That's fine. The same thing applies. The block is not moving, but we're very slowly going to pull with our spring scale until the point at which the block starts to shift. Right? I'm watching my force. Watching my force. And, oh, the last number before the block started moving is my static friction.